You know, I get a lot of feedback from you guys about me covering culture. And I, I will, I just want to state one more time, I'm never going to stop covering culture because it matters. And it is because conservatives hold the opinion that it doesn't matter that we have lost so much ground to the left. It is because we have not made any investment in talking about culture that we have ceded so much ground to the left. It is because of this that we are absent in Hollywood. And it's because of this that the biggest public figures in the world are left-leaning and vote left, and they show up when it's time for election season, and they stand behind these people and convince the masses, the young kids who are seized by culture, right? They don't care about your policy papers. They don't care about the, the debates that you guys are having, these intellectual debates on stage and these panels. They don't care. They're watching Kim Kardashian on Instagram, and Kim Kardashian says, hey, go out and vote for Hillary Clinton. They go and they do it. Because that's what it means to be an influencer. So if we are not competing there, we are competing nowhere. For the record, once again, Andrew Breitbart was correct when he said politics is downstream from culture. And I have been fascinated, as you guys know, with the Kim Kardashian sex tape story, which is so relevant, I cannot tell you. Because if this is correct, and by all indications, it seems that Ray J, her ex, is telling the truth, that she was not a victim of a sex tape, but she orchestrated the sex tape, right? that she's actually a nasty person behind the scenes who has been hell-bent on being famous, and she used a lot of black men in particular to get to where she is and then left them in the dust. Calls Ray J desperate and, you know, don't know what's going on with him, and now Kanye is crazy, and she's just completely promoted herself to be in the status that she is, right? Now you have Ray J. Ray J being the entertainer who is at the beginning of the story who has spoken out and said, this has all been a lie. I have had communication with her spanning back for years. I have helped her in every aspect of her career pre-Kanye involvement. And he's angry. And he is saying he is going to sue this family. This is relevant, right? This is relevant to culture to prove to children that everything that they see is a deception and a lie. Well, some tapes are making the rounds of Kim Kardashian and she's talking trash. This is years ago. It seems to be a voicemail that she left Ray J where it's not the sweet little Kim K that she presents today. She's nasty. She's calling Whitney Houston a crackhead, and she's yelling at Ray J. And this tape landed on my lap, and I am told that there is much, much more, and it is the opposite version of the Kim Kardashian that your kids have been following. This is just a sample of the tape. Again, this is a voicemail that she left Ray J. Take a listen. Ray, it's Kim. I just want you to know that I think you are so disgusting and desperate. Who leaves their email address on the machine? You clearly want people to call you, but yet you won't call me back. And actually, you know what? Don't call me back. Don't ever call me back. I never want to talk to you ever, ever again. I think you're honestly a sick human being, and I think you are just so desperate that you'll do anything for f- attention, and you're just so disgusting. Honestly, so, like, have fun with old tag Whitney Houston. Like, she's so sick, and, like, crack is definitely not whack with you guys, because you are just, honestly, it, like, makes me laugh on how disgusting you guys look. You know what I'm You're f***ing Vegas with Whitney and you need to go hang out with your old, like, friend. And it's not right, but it's okay. I'm definitely going to make it anyway because you guys are just disgusting and sick and stop being here with her. I don't understand it. She's so old and sick and you are just sick and desperate, so leave me the f*** alone and stop calling me! I f***ing hate you! So it's being alleged that she left that voicemail because she was upset that Ray J at that moment was becoming more famous than her because he was dating Whitney Houston, who obviously has now passed. Uh, Like I said, I'm just throwing that out there because there was a lot more that was presented to me from people that are in Ray J's circle. And I am basically openly inviting him to come onto the show. I can even do a separate podcast because 
I think the Kardashian family is potentially a Hollywood cartel. And what I mean by that is not that they're moving drugs, uh, but I am talking about the control that they have in Hollywood and the lies that they have told to get the, to where they're going. And I think that they have left a lot of victims in their wake, Ray J included. He's rightfully angry, and I want to keep covering that because a family like this should be exposed. So Ray J, if you're seeing this, open invite. So you are not even going to believe this, but you should believe it because it's TikTok. TikTok has banned users from even searching for the term white lives matter, listing the phrase as being associated with hateful behavior. When searching for videos or profiles that contain the term white lives matter, you're going to be met with a message which states, quote, no results found. This phrase may be associated with hateful behavior. TikTok is committed to keeping our community safe and working to prevent the spread of hate. For more information, we invite you to review our community guidelines, end quote. What are the community guidelines? Well, you can definitely use the hashtag Black Lives Matter. You can definitely use the hashtag Asian Lives Matter. You could definitely use the hashtag Latino Lives Matter. All of that is fine. But if you use White Lives Matter, it's problematic, obviously because being white is problematic in 2022. Actually, since a little bit earlier, being white kind of became problematic starting in, I would say, maybe 2012, maybe 2008 when we elected Barack Obama. Suddenly we start felt this shift and it wasn't like we were after equality. We just actually wanted to make white people that never had slaves um, and white people that weren't behind the segregating policies that we once had in this country under Jim Crow, we wanted to make them suffer. And so we've been doing that for a while, and TikTok has taken a strong stance against this because TikTok is owned by China, who keeps Muslims in concentration camps. That's totally fine, but what they really care about is the hashtag White Lives Matter. By the way, you can, if you want to on TikTok, put up your child talking about their puberty blockers, as we have shown on this show, also, if you want to, you can join a community for cutting yourself on TikTok, as we've shown on the show. There are teenagers who are cutting themselves, and they join the groups, and they're becoming pseudo-trans, they're becoming pseudo-cutters, and they're showing signs of various disorders that are not actually the real disorders, right? Because they're just trying to find a community, uh, and they want to belong to an online community. Yeah, TikTok fosters that environment. They love it. If you are a guy and you put on a dress and you frolic through the woods and say, mm, I'm a woman, TikTok will make sure that you get tons of followers. Uh, really, what TikTok is after is furthering div divisive rhetoric. They are after furthering the divide of the American people. And what better way to do that than by outright basically having a policy that says white lives don't matter. That's what the TikTok policy is. And I implore you, if you are listening to this show, I, I say it over and over again, this is without question the most harmful app. It is the most obvious. It is so obvious what China is trying to do, which is weaken the American people. It is trying to weaken the unity that we have. And it is also after your children, molding minds, molding minds to hate white people in this regard, molding minds to think that there are no genders, molding minds to have a short attention span. It is very easy for you to, within your own household, say TikTok will not be allowed. That is a rule in my household. I'm a little more extreme. My kids are not going to be allowed to have social media full stop until they're old enough. But this is what we have to do. These little acts of protest start within our own household. So please, please, if you have children that are on TikTok, just force them to delete the app. Be the bad parent. Don't be their friend. Say, you know what? It's cool because I'm actually not your best friend. I'm your mom, I'm your dad, I'm your grandma, I'm your grandpa. Do something about it today. All right, guys, the next portion of the show is going to be available exclusively on Daily Wire Plus. I'm going to be talking about Madonna's extremely weird recent TikTok. So if you are not a member yet, go ahead and click the link in the description and subscribe right now.